Hi, I'm Dr. Cork, and today I'm gonna be making piña colada and some other cocktails with cream of coconut, coconut martini, creamy coconut margarita, bushwhacker drink, and a lazy piña colada. First of all, what is cream of coconut and how is it made? The important thing to remember is that it's not coconut cream. Coconut cream is made by skimming the top and the most fatty layer of chilled coconut milk and cream of coconut is just sweetened coconut milk or cream. Effectively, it's a type of coconut syrup. Popular brands include Coco Lopez, Coco Goya or Coco Real, but you should absolutely make your own. It is very easy. Take coconut milk, pour it in a pan and mix in the exact amount of sugar by weight. In my case 300 grams of each. Don't boil the mixture, just mix until the sugar disappears. Then sterilize the bottle with boiling water and pour the liquid into it. And now let's make some cream of coconut cocktails, starting with mother of them all, the piña colada. Mix of rum, coconut, pineapple and lime juices. It was invented in 1952 by Ramon Marrera Perez the head barman of the Carib Hilton in Puerto Rico, he blended the cocktail and it became an instant classic. Later, in the 1970s, bartenders started making piña coladas using cheap bottled mixers and the good name of piña colada has been tarnished. But thankfully, in recent years, more and more bartenders began using the original recipe with solid ingredients and proper proportions. Some prefer using a shaker instead of a blender and that's exactly what I'm going to do, because shaking keeps the cocktail from becoming overly diluted. First thing we're gonna need is rum. I prefer white rum, but you can definitely use aged rum. 60 ml or 2 ounces of white rum. The next thing we're gonna need is our homemade cream of coconut. One and a half ounce or 45 milliliters. Pineapple juice. One and a half ounce or 45 milliliters. You can use freshly squeezed pineapple juice, but only if your pineapple is sweet and juicy. Mine is not that, so I'm using store-bought. And half an ounce of lime juice or 15 milliliters. Then we add some ice and shake. I'm dedicating the shake to this comment. Then we take a big glass, sling in my case, or you can use hurricane, add some ice and fine strain the cocktail into the glass. Then we take our pineapple, leaves from it and make a garnish. The only reason I bought this pineapple is to make garnish. And here it is, the piña colada. Mm, sweet, but balanced with crisp rum, a tart fruit, like pineapple, complementing the rich coconut. I get why it became an instant classic when it was invented. If you want a less strong drink, you can use pebble ice. It will dilute the cocktail more. But personally, I don't like pebble ice. It's coarse and rough and irritating and gets everywhere. So I'm using just ice cubes. The next cocktail is creamy coconut margarita. As the name suggests, it consists of tequila, triple sec, lime juice and also cream of coconut. And it's also shaken. First thing we're gonna need is tequila. 2 ounces or 60 milliliters. Then triple sec, the orange liqueur. You can use Cointreau, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Lime juice, half an ounce. And cream of coconut, 1 ounce or 30 milliliters. Ice. And a vigorous shake. I'd like to dedicate this shake to this comment. Then we take the chilled martini glass and double strain our cocktail. A lime wheel for garnish. And here it is, creamy coconut margarita. Mmm, it's creamy all right, refreshing. It's a must for any margarita lover. Strong cocktail, by the way. 
and nothing has curdled, which I'm proud of. The next cocktail is called Coconut Martini. It's made of vodka, lime juice and cream of coconut. It's the easiest cocktail with cream of coconut that I know. But before we start making it, we need to rim the glass with shredded coconut. Put some coconut into the plate and rim the glass with lime. Beautiful. And now it's time to mix the cocktail. Vodka, two ounces, 60 milliliters, lime juice, half an ounce, and cream of coconut, one ounce, a little bit of ice, and shake this bad boy. I dedicate this shake to this comment. Then we take our chilled and rimmed cocktail glass and double strain our cocktail. And here it is, the coconut martini. This is even better than our previous cocktail, creamy coconut margarita. Vodka is neutral, so you don't taste it, you just have the alcohol. It's sweet and sour, creamy and very nice. I didn't expect it. It's the best cocktail out of all that I made today. 10 out of 11. <laughs> the next cocktail is blended and it's called Bushwhacker. For it, we're gonna need some bright aged rum, one ounce or 30 milliliters, coffee liqueur, whichever you like, also one ounce or 30 milliliters, creme de cacao liqueur, you can use dark or light, doesn't matter. One ounce also. Our old trusty cream of coconut. One ounce. 2% milk. Regular cow's milk. Also one ounce. And some ice. Several ice cubes. Then we close our blender. And blend it. My blender is not that great for blending ice, so some pebbles may be still in there, so I'm gonna strain it. This is why. Then we grate some nutmeg to garnish the cocktail and disguise it as a piña colada by garnishing it with pineapple piece and pineapple leaves. And here it is, the Bushwhacker drink. Ooh. It's like a mashup of a chocolate milkshake plus pina colada. Pretty boozy. It is not too frozen because I blended it well. A sweet and surprisingly great combo. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit like, ring the bell, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of short videos. You can watch them all here. You can find all the recipes on our website dr-cork.com. Also we have Instagram and Reddit. Subscribe there too. All the links are down below. Drink responsibly and do svidos. If you want to make piña colada without any fuss, here's a bonus recipe for you. Only three ingredients. Coconut milk, just regular coconut milk without any sugar. One ounce, 30 milliliters. Coconut rum, or as I call it, rum-based coconut liquor, two ounces, 60 ml. And pineapple juice, three ounces. Ice. And shake. I'd like to dedicate this shake to this comment. Mm -hmm. An old-fashioned glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. This is a budget version, so we don't garnish it with anything. And here it is, the lazy piña colada. Actually, <laughs> this is pretty damn good. I take my words back. It's not a budget version, it's the best version. The only thing it's lacking is some acidity.
This type of piña colada you can try in any bar that serves piña colada. Great stuff.